everybody. This is Amber, season four winner of Sunday Best. And I'm rocking with ConcertDaily.com. Hello, everyone. You're rocking with your girl, Marquita Sharon of Concert Daily. And I am sitting here with the amazing, incredibly talented vocal agility for days. Singer, entertainer, actress, amazing woman, and fly, fly diva, hey. Amber Bullock. <laughs> How are you doing today? I am excellent. How are you? I am doing good now that I have been serenaded by your amazing oh. talent and gift. Oh, my goodness. I heard you on TV. I watched Sunday's Best, um, season four, winner. Hello. <laughs> mm. Shake the haters off. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I heard you on TV, and um, it's so amazing that your voice translates the same, but more incredibly, of course, in person. Oh, wow. Yes, like there's, there was no, like, I know they probably had sound and everything like that, but mm -hmm. straight up, you sang some songs a cappella, mm -hmm. and you blew the house down. You didn't need any music. God is good. Yes, yeah, so, so how, where did your voice come from? What side of your family has the talent, you know, like the vocal ability, or were you just a miracle child? Um, my mom actually sings. My dad does the sound at church, <laughs> but he cannot sing. But um, my mom, basically, and what's crazy is my mom is adopted, so we have no idea of where, she, and she has not, she's not interested in finding mm -hmm. out who her original family was, but I get it from her. She she's definitely the singer in my family. So I've been singing all my life, mm -hmm. singing with her. You know, she used to do concerts and stuff when I was a kid, and she used to premiere me, you know, and all that oh. stuff. So I've been singing a while. Oh, so you had like that current clock, you know, yeah. Kiki Shit experience, yeah. and no wonder you have that vocal ability like that. Yes, yes, amazing. So you were here tonight in Washington D.C. at Arena Stage with LSS Universal putting on this amazing show. Um, what's going on in your life right now? What music are you promoting? I heard some songs on the stage. Tell us about it. All right, well, the songs that I sang on the stage, you know, are from my gospel area. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? I won Sunday Best season four a couple of years ago, so I put out two records since then. I, I did a uh, Thank You and I did So In Love. Mm -hmm. Now, Thank You is a, a record of covers, and then uh, So In Love is original. So I did some of, you know, my original, I mean, my covers and my originals tonight. Mm -hmm. What do I have on going on right now? I'm actually in the process of uh, doing a crossover switch, if you yes. will, to uh, soul R&B. I just want to be more authentic with where I am and, you know, just sing about where I am. You know, sometimes if I trip and fall, I may not say, oh, Jesus. I may say, oh, S-H-I-T okay. or something <laughs> like that or, you know, anything other than that you know and i want to sing to the people who do that too okay. you know i just don't want to be limited to gospel music because you wouldn't be you'd be surprised at how many people don't buy gospel music or how many people buy other types of music mm -hmm. and you know fantasia is doing um she's ministering to people i see it all the time you know what i'm saying um al green has done it lettucey does it every sunshine does it so why can't i do it mm -hmm. so that's what i'm doing now well, that's awesome because I actually was in the audience at the Tweet concert back on May 28th. I know the exact date because, we, first of all, when you came out, we all were like, wait, what, huh? Yeah. You know, and then you came out, you did um, you did a Jill Scott song, you did an Erica Badu song, and the way that you, you arranged it was incredible. You blew us out the deck on building, okay? Um, and you also did your song called Faking It. Are you still pushing that? Because I love the words in that song. Uh, not started pushing it yet I just waiting I'm waiting for the right time I don't want to oversaturate you guys with stuff that's not ready when I do it and when it comes out I want to hit y'all with it so y'all know what it is mm -hmm. y'all won't be confused as to what I'm doing now mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying I'm just waiting for the I guess the packaging if you will mm -hmm. to get set and show but we still definitely going to be Oh yeah, we were feeling that song, faking it. It's it's an awesome song. It shows your vocal ability and it speaks the truth. Mm -hmm. And I think you speaking on behalf of a lot of people that may not be able to open their mouth about that mm -hmm. in that um way. Um, so you are um, you you ha you are mother, yes. and and you have been touring, going around everywhere. You've been in every church, probably every city, every state. You know which is amazing. How was that? How was that life, you know, with um, keeping your daughter, you know, keeping all of the, the, the good moments with your daughter, as well as, you know, still being on the stage and being able to be focused on that as well? Um, I'll say that uh, my daughter is one in a billion. She is an angel, and she, her level of, at least the way she makes it seem to me, <laughs> is, you know, her level of understanding is 
is beyond her years for an eight-year-old. You know, mm -hmm. she knows what it is. And, of course, she misses mommy, you know what I'm saying, she'll tell me. And, you know, I make time to m make sure that, you know, she doesn't miss me that much. But uh, I have a really wonderful kid, and she just understands, and she's my biggest fan. And, you know, she just roots for me. So when I go out of town, she's like, did you do this? Did you do that, mommy? You know what I'm saying? And she's just there, you know what I'm saying? And so it's, 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 it's hard because I am a mother, you know, and I want to be there for my baby. Mm -hmm. um, and she's getting to the age of where she need her mom, you mm -hmm. know. Um, so sometimes it's hard, but she makes it a lot easier. If I didn't have an angel, I don't know what I would do. Oh, you called her an angel. She loves her daughter, okay? That is so, look at her, her eyes lit up. That is so beautiful. I brought that. I brought her up because I know that every artist needs something as as a foundation. As you're going around meeting new people every day, you're in all these different energies. So your your daughter in heaven has support, and she's so cute. Does she sing? Does she shut up? That's the oh. question. <laughs> that would be the trick <laughs> to get her to shut up. Mm -hmm. She sings all the time. That's a good thing. Right, and writes her own stuff, too. You know what I'm saying? So, so she won't catch her singing. You might catch her singing with the radio and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. But, like, if she, if it's no music and nothing's going on, she's making up a song and singing oh, it. Oh, that is so beautiful. Yes. <laughs> yeah. So on stage, I want to put this all together. Mm -hmm. You brought up that you are, you know, dating. Yes. Mm, wonderful. Amazing. That's a blessing for sure. And you have a good man yes. who also is on the musical side as well. And he's behind some of the um, the music production that you've been um, doing. And, and so how is that relationship and, and everything with the, the, the creativity of um, creating all this music? Girl, you sure you want to talk about this? Because we're going to be talking about this for a while. <laughs> because <laughs> I love that man. His name is Wayne, Wayne Thornton. Hey, boo. And um, he is from South Carolina, uh, lives in Atlanta now, and he's a drummer uh, oh. first. You know what I'm saying? Um, he's uh, actually, um, what's that, Medea on the Run mm -hmm. that just came out? If you look on that, you're going to see him oh. playing the drums. That's okay. my boo, okay? <laughs> but um, he is just amazing. Um, and he is I, I can't say he's my biggest fan because Maya is my biggest fan, but he is definitely, right he is right there. You know what I'm saying? He supports me. Anything that I can do, I mean, anything that he can do to help me, he will do. Mm -hmm. I don't have to pay him, and I will pay him, don't get me wrong, because I'm all for giving people what they're worth. Mm -hmm. But he loves to help me. He loves to get in the studio. And, you know, it's just been a really um, refreshing experience to find a man who, number one, loves God and wants to love him so much that he can love you. Mm -hmm. And who wants he wants to be a part of my daughter's life. He wants to just be a good man. And I really found a good guy. And <laughs> I told you we shouldn't talk about this. Because I could go in. Love, love. I love love. So, yeah, I can, I can let you go on and on. Um, but I, I brought all of those things up to say um, that you are, like, a total package. Like, people always see the artist on stage. But they don't get a chance to see what the artist is like behind the scenes. So I feel like when you talk about your daughter, it brings out this glow on you. When you talk about your man, it brings out some glow, too. And the fact that you can merge all those things together, all of them are talented. You know, it's a blessing. You know, so um, I wanted to talk about really quickly when you mentioned the fact that you're going to be crossing over. You on stage, you talked about um, working with PJ Morton, yes. and I love him. I love him. But he also is an artist that crossed over, yes. and his music on both sides is am is amazing. So will you be working with him in the future as well on some of this music? PJ is one of my close friends, so I would hope. I think he was just waiting on me to decide what I'm going to do. The last mm -hmm. conversation that I kind of had with him, he was like, girl, what are you doing? You know, you, I'm your friend, and I don't even know what you're doing. So I'm just trying to solidify some things so that when I bring him into the picture, it will be right. But definitely, I can't do nothing without PJ. Everything I do, seriously, he probably be tired of me. I don't know. But everything I do, a song I record or whatever, I send it to him. Like, do you like this? You know, like, what you think? You know, mm -hmm. he's a, I, 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 wanna, I guess he's like my mentor, if you will. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Because that's definitely my guy. Yeah, and I was going to say, mentor would be the perfect person. He's the perfect person for a mentor in this mm -hmm. transitional phase, which honestly, for real, for real, let's be real. Most artists that sing gospel sing secular music and vice versa. Like, everyone has that foundation. And, and if you can feel it from the soul, because you definitely have a soulful voice, 
usually you can trail that back to, you, you know, know. I don't think that it's a lot necessarily that it's gospel, secular. Mm-hmm. You know, we are black people. Mm-hmm. It's our culture. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? We sing soul music. Gospel music is soul music. It hits you in the soul. So it's all the same. It's mm-hmm. just, you know, if how you want to look at it, I guess. Yeah, I only use the terms because for the uh, yeah, music yeah. lovers out here that's not, you know, musically creative, they may only understand it through, you know, by genres. Mm-hmm. But um, talking, I'm not going to get into your whole experience about with Sunday's Best, but the transition from being a call, you know, center, um, you know, employee to not having to go in for nine to five, but you still definitely working some real hours. Um, that transition, um, how has it, the fact that you're coming out with faking it, the fact that you're transitioning, the fact that you have a strong foundation and you have a very um, driven uh, personality, um, how do you keep that going in this ever-changing industry? Uh, I really think that having a good foundation uh, is key. Knowing who you are, or at least an idea of who you want to be, mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. Um, it's definitely helped me. I'm from St. Louis. Uh, we just regular schmegler old mm-hmm. people, you know what I'm saying? And I stick to that, and my people, the people who I have around me, they keep me grounded. They don't mm-hmm. let me get grand, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. They always treat me the same, you know what I'm saying? They acknowledge who I am, you know what I'm saying? They don't discredit me and, you know, make it, belittle it, you know what I'm saying? But they be like, they respect it and they move on from that, and so that helps, too. Mm-hmm. So, uh, I mean, you know, famous it's really not. Oh, I love how you brought that up. Famous versus success and happiness. I love that. Yes, it is a difference, and I'm glad that you are living it so you can be a great motivation and role model to all of these young girls and women even your age that are looking up to you, um, even with your fly style. Okay, you are a diva with your style. You are you are bold with your choices, I believe. Um, and so, so with that, being a role model with your look, to how you speak, to how you portray yourself out in public. Um, do you see yourself getting into any campaigns, like with, you know, merging any type of uh, sponsorships with, um, like, Ashy Stewart or, you know, any, any you know, curvy rocks, you know, agenda or situation? I would love to do that. A lot of people tell me all the time that I should model and do all of that mm-hmm. stuff, but, you know, um, I would love to do this, you know, to support our curvaceousness, if you will. Um, other stuff that I'm trying to do to support our womanness is, um, you know, I'm a single mother, so I'm trying to get some um, campaigns and foundations started or whatever to focus on that. And mm-hmm. I think um, more like a support group of where we can just talk about our problems and, you know, so just how we relate to each other. So just look forward to that in the future. That's awesome. That's amazing. I want everyone to know where they can find you at because you are an amazing person to just keep up with. I think you have a wonderful spirit and you have an incredible talent. And you have beautiful eyes too, by the way. Like you know how you know how they oh wow, really? But yours are like hazel though. They like light brown. Yours are like hazel. Like you have that you know the filter on Instagram where like the little crown your eyes already look like that. So much, thank yeah. you. You're very welcome. So, how can everyone find you and follow you and get your music and keep up to date so they can be ready to get this new music that you're going to be releasing that we can't wait for? Definitely, you guys can follow me on Facebook. It's Amber Bullock there. On Instagram, it's Sing Amber. On uh, anything else, it's Sing Amber. I Sing to, Amber. I just try to keep that little handle so you all can remember me. Huh? Well, that's the fact. That's a fact, though. Like you know, people put that in. It's actually a fact for you. Sing Amber. <laughs> Yes, ma'am, but that's how you guys can reach me, St. Gamber. Yes. Mm-hmm. Well, thank you so, so much for sitting down and spending some time with us after your amazing performance. Mm-hmm. I wish you the best in everything you do. I will be supporting you as I already have been, honey. Yes, mm-hmm. work that mic, honey. Yes, Continue ma'am. to bless everybody with that amazing voice. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Thank yes. you. Yes, thank you.